Niger Delta militant Asari Dokubo, Ijo Ultra Nationalist and Forum, former leader of Niger Delta People's Volunteer Force, has described separatist leader of the indigenous people of I uh, Biafra, IPOB Namdi Kanu, as a common and a criminal. Asari, who spoke exclusively to Arise News, correspondent of Yetimi John, to explain why he's against the activities of IPOB leader in his quest for secession. Stay with us. You are Mujahid Dokubo Asari. You are a German. What's your link with Biafra? And then this feud with uh, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namde Kano. He joins Biafra. He all he, 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 not all the jaws. The jaws are divided between the bite of Benin and bite of Biafra. We are the owners of Biafra. Biafra is an Ijo name. Biafra, we own it. Over the territory, uh, the territory identified as Biafra is, is Ijo. Maybe a little uh, uh, Ibibios around towards the end. And around people. Maybe you have to make a distinction now. Or if, is it the same? Ijo, Biafra, and Ibo. Biafra, Biafra. The real Biafra, the name Biafra, the geographical location of Biafra, is a jaw and a little bit Oron and a little bit Ibibio. Some few Ibibios are in that territory, the Bite of Biafra. Then, in 1967, the Eastern Ijaws were part of the Eastern region. An Eastern Consultative Assembly was convoked in Enugu and Francis Anijoma gave the name Biafra, suggested, moved the motion that Biafra should be uh, adopted, Francis Opigo. And Biafra was adopted, and on the 30th of May, 1967, the Republic of Biafra was declared, which included the Eastern Niger within our territory. So Biafra has nothing to do with Igbo. And I hear intellectual talk rubbish, rot. Can they dismiss this historical fact that we are, that the geographical area known as Biafra is a job? It's in Boros book. Boros said this place is Biafra. You're talking about the 12 day revolution? Yes. Go 150, uh, uh, page 152. Go and see it. Boros said this place is Biafra. In his book, Geographical Biafra. At that time, Biafra had not been declared. Then uh, the, 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 the instrument of declaration of Biafra. In Enugu, in that instrument of declaration, Ijo territories in the eastern region were included in the declared Biafran state. The Biafran state that was declared in 1967 was not an Igbo state. It was the sovereignty, the mandate was given for the for for the retaking of the sovereignty, the collective sovereignty of the people found within the borders of the British created eastern region of Nigeria. Okay, now what's happening between you and Namde Kano? Because I have seen on the social media this banter sometimes Namde Kano is a person who is empty in his head and Inam Dikanu wants an Igbo Biafra. Taking our name to hang to what does to himself, it doesn't belong to him. And instead of in, instead of calling for all, he wants an Igbo. So he will say Chukuka Obioma is the god of Igbo land, is the god of Biafra. Who is Chukuka Obioma? I don't know him. It's not a job word. He comes around, he says, Biafra is a Jewish state. Where well, I am not a Jew. I will never be Jew. My parents, my ancestors are superior to Jews. 
Did you tell the story that they were chosen? No! My ancestors too were chosen. It is only a tyrannical God that will create people and choose one people over and above other. Then that God is tyrant, is Satan. For him to prefer his creatures. We didn't lobby God to create us. God created us as I am now. If you are telling me you are my person. That God is Satan. And anybody who believes in any God like that, that God has a chosen people, is satanic himself. And that God is a forerunner to Hitler. So, I am not a Jew. I am an Egyptian man. I am a Calabari Egyptian man. Period. He says, Islam will not be in his Biafra. I said, no. Which one is your Biafra? The Biafra that I know is a jaw. Now, the jaws, Franco Pigo, used the jaw name and sold it to all the people of the former Eastern region in 1967. And on May 30th, that Ijo name was adopted by that Ijo area. The name for the Ijo area was adopted by all the people of the Eastern region and it became Republic of Biafra. So which Biafra are you talking about? I have no business with his IPOB. As long as it does not consign Biafra. When you call Biafra, I am included in Biafra. And I will stand up as a Biafra that don't include me. I'm a Muslim. I am not a Jew. So here there is a distinction between the IPOB and Biafra. Yes, that's a distinction. I don't know whether IPOB is Igbo. Even though I have Igbo blood flowing in my vein, I am not an Igbo man today. I was coming to that. What's the meaning of a diabali? A diabali is an animal, but what it literally means, uh, what, what is the uh, contextual meaning of a diabali is he who kills at night. My great ancestor, Nabobuari Harry Braid was originally an Igbo man from Obom in Abam. His parents moved to Obosi in present Danabrasi, Obosi in present Danabrasi. From there, they, he came to Kalawari. King Amakri acquired him from his, 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 uh, the Aro people who came with him to Taurus Ramapri, Elem Kalawari. And he became a Kalawari man. He died in the 1820s as the richest and one of the most powerful men of his time. Okay, uh, Asari Dokubo there on a number of issues. Yes, as a citizen, um, you know, he's uh, entitled to his opinions. Mm -hmm. But, you know, a number of clarifications. The first is that the comments he made with regard to Mazi Namdekano. You recall that uh, on June 14, Asari Dukubo had threatened publicly, and this was reported in the media, I'm not making it up, that he would bring down Namdekano. Mm. And I think at the time, he declared a separate uh, group away from uh, IPOB. Mm. And he said, you know, he accused uh, Namdekano of all sorts of things. He even swore on the Quran. Uh, you know, and I guess it's on the Basis of that, that Kano's uh, supporters have been saying that perhaps Asari Dokubo has a hand mm. uh, in the uh, arrest. I know if any age of her will not like that, uh, but he has expressed his own opinion of uh, Namde Kano in uh, Kenya and his uh, you know, uh, subsequent uh, you know, uh, rendition to the Nigerian authorities. So... I guess it's important to understand the context, mm. to know where Asari Dokubo uh, is call, coming from. Then Asari Dokubo, in that interview, also made some claims about Biafra. Well, maybe he needs to do a, a little research. Mm. The name Biafra did not come from Igbos. Yes. Actually, as far back as 1710, Ten. Yes. you know, the Portuguese had named, you know, that zone, uh, you know, Bight of Biafra mm. or Bight of Mafra, yeah. and it went all the way to Equatorial Guinea, to Sao Tome, and at the time, uh, you know, uh, that bite 
was uh, in Cameroon, mm -hmm. not even Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, you know, adopted in 1967, you know, and used as a name uh, of a revolutionary movement uh, that will bring about another uh, secessionist uh, country. But we know the history of all of that. But in 1975, long after the uh, Civil War, the Nigerian government adopted for that particular coastal line uh, the name Bite of Boni. Boni, yeah. It's known as the Bite of uh, Boni because the Nigerian government jettisoned uh, the name uh, Biafra. Yeah, but he yeah. was uh, trying to give some history about how it was a certain person, uh, you yeah. know, that uh, gave the name. But <clears throat> the big development from all of this, however, is a conflict between the Southeast and the South-South mm. with regard to the uh, current uh, situation in the country. IPOP, you know, the Indigenous People's Organization of Biafra, issued a statement accusing uh, the leader of Pandev, uh, uh, Chief E.K. Clark, uh, of making some statements with how South-South is not part of the struggle and all of that, and how the South-South cannot be, uh, you know, dragooned uh, into the proposed second time around Republic of uh, uh, Biafra. So it's important for people to be sensitive uh, to some of these details mm -hmm. and for us all to allow conversation, mm -hmm. to allow debate, yeah. because we are in a very delicate place in Nigeria at this moment, whereby some people just construct their own propaganda mm -hmm. and they try to shut down other views. Uh, and that, I think, is not good for the health of the polity. All opinions, all views should be allowed to air. And that's why on this station, we bring everybody mm. from Infant Age of Four to uh, Asari Dokubo. Mm. Express your view. Mm. Let Nigerians uh, look at it. But don't say people cannot express their own views. Their views. That's the height of a dictatorship. Was mm. than official dictatorship. I mean, very, very great words. I think it was Voltaire that says, I might not necessarily agree with you, but I will die to defend your right to say what you have to say, even if I don't agree with you. And it's good we set the record straight historically because, and you see, this comes from not teaching history in schools. Because I have seen one too many times a lot of people have skewed history. I talked about it's good you, you set the tone there. Uh, when I first heard that comment, I said, no, that's not true. Because I have studied a lot of cadastral maps from the 1800s. I love map reading. And the truth is, you will always see that region to be the badge of Biafra named after the Portuguese town of Mafra. That's where the Portuguese started from, mm. 1710. Mm. So when you hear that it was another person that, that put the word out there, it's a little bit skewed. And like Dr. Vazi said, there's been a raging fight going on amongst these two people. Suffice to say, there's also the case of corruption. Now, this is Sari Dokubo alleged at a point that you know, a lot of money was collected by Namdi Kanu, and that some was sent that he didn't collect it. So there's been this back and forth. He even but declared for, himself leader. Of the he group. declared himself leader. Mm. But the bulk of all of this is when it comes to history, let's get it right. Let's not skew it. Yes. Right. Well said.